In this video, I will show you one of my new favorite Hux cards, Navbar card by Jose Luis. Navbar card has quickly become one of my favorite cards, not only because of how glorious it looks, but also because it solves one problem that I always had with Home Assistant, and that's configurable navigation. I use Navbar card in my personal dashboard, and it made me go from having two dashboards, one for mobile and one for dashboard, to one fully responsive one. If you want to learn more about my dashboard, there's a full dashboard tour video linked in the corner. In this video, we want to look at how we can configure Navbar card for your dashboard. First of all, make sure you have the Home Assistant Community Store installed. Once you have Hux installed, we can just navigate to the menu, search for Navbar card, and install it from here. Once that's done, we can add it to our dashboard. We just add a new card and search for Navbar cards. Once we press the button, we pretty much have a ready-to-go Navbar card configured. I can see how this can be a little bit confusing for people who are not so familiar with YAML code. But I actually really like this approach, as we can just change the code to make it our own. Let's configure our Navbar card. I like to have my Navbar card on the left side of the screen on desktop screens. So I configure the desktop attribute and position left. You can also set the min width for desktop mode here, in case you have a smaller tablet or something similar. I really like the look of Navbar card with labels, so for desktop and mobile, I configure show labels too. Under Layout, there's a new auto padding feature in Navbar Card. This feature makes sure that Navbar Card is not on top of other cards on your dashboard. The default setting for desktop is 100 pixel. However, for mobile, I set 180 pixel instead, as I am using Navbar Card with a custom mobile media player. If you want to know more about this media player card, I linked my video about it in the top corner. Let's configure the different routes. The first one is the home route. This one I usually leave as is, as it's already configured correctly. For the second one, let's configure a pop-up that shows all the different rooms. For that, we configure tab action pop-up and then add the attribute pop-up. Inside here, we can configure more routes. If you are using different views for your rooms, you can use the URL attribute with the link to the view. However, you can also use Navbar card with bubble pop-ups, for example. For this option, we can configure tab action navigate and set the navigation path to the hash of the bubble pop-up. Make sure this is in quotations, otherwise it won't work. Here you can see how our pop-up is looking so far. Navbar card has a lot more features though. For example, on each route we can configure a badge that shows additional information. Let's add a badge that shows how many lights are on currently. For this we need to use some JavaScript. We only want to show the badge when lights are on. If this statement returns true, the badge is shown. We can also configure the color. I am using a theme variable here. Additionally, we can also configure a count number. I will add the state of my lights on count sensor to this. Another neat feature is that instead of an icon, we can also use an image for a route. I am using this to create personal profile buttons. If we add this JavaScript code, we can use the entity picture of a person. The image is square right now, but we will fix this later. Another useful attribute for this is the hidden attribute, as we can show this route only to a specific person. This code hides the route for all users but me. Let's finish off our card with some styling. First, let's style the image and give it a border radius of 16 pixels. As you can see, it looks much more like a profile button now and reminds me of apps like YouTube or Instagram. We can also style the navbar itself. For example, we can add a custom color from our theme or change the background as well. And that's it! Our navbar card is ready to use. As I said, I really like this card not only because it looks great, but how adaptable it is. The card is actively maintained and the creator Jose Luis is constantly adding more features. I really like how navbar card has transformed my personal dashboard. If you want to know more about my dashboard or the custom mobile media player, I link both videos in the description. I hope you learned something from this video and give navbar card a try. I just started this YouTube channel, so if you enjoyed the video, I would really appreciate it if you liked the video and subscribe to my channel. I have other videos where I create custom cards, show off cool Hux cards or a tour of my personal dashboard. Thanks for watching and until next time.